I'm Ali Velsi with MSNBC. This week we commemorate the 158th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Joining me now for this week's A More Perfect Union is Jeffrey Rosen, the president and CEO of the National Constitution Center. Jeff, tell us more about this landmark speech, its historical and constitutional significance, and its relevance in today's polarized times. Well, Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address in 1863. It was the middle of the Civil War after the bloody Battle of Gettysburg. It was only 271 words, and it took Lincoln just a few minutes to deliver, but it's one of the most historically and constitutionally significant speeches in American history. So let's think about the famous opening sentence where Lincoln looks back to 1776 to envision a future where the Constitution can be amended to fulfill the promise of the Declaration of Independence. When he's saying four score and seven years ago, he's not talking about the framing of the Constitution in 1787, but the passage of the Declaration in 1776. And he envisions a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. And then in the famous closing sentence, Lincoln promises that the Civil War will lead to a new birth of freedom that will fulfill the promise of the Declaration. He says, this nation shall have a new birth of freedom and government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish by the earth. He's saying that the Civil War is about extending the promise of equality to all Americans, including African Americans. And it's also about preserving democracy, which is necessary for creating a more perfect union. So to celebrate the anniversary of the Gettysburg Address and also Thanksgiving, um, everyone should read the entire speech. It won't take long. You can read it aloud. It's incredibly inspiring. And also listen to the wonderful We the People podcast episode on the Gettysburg Address that the National Constitution Center just launched with the great historians Kate Mazur and Sean Wilentz. On that episode, we're thrilled to be launching a crowdsourcing campaign for the podcast with a generous match so that every dollar of your support will be doubled. Um, please go to constitutioncenter.org forward slash we the people to help the National Constitution Center continue to spread light and provide constitutional educations for all Americans. That's constitutioncenter.org forward slash we the people. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you, Ali, and happy Thanksgiving. And to you, there's no more important time to engage in the sort of conversation that I think for a lot of people wouldn't have been commonplace for them to, to engage in constitutional history, and the National Constitution Center does that so well. It makes it so accessible uh, to those of us who need to know more about it. Jeffrey Rosen is the president and the CEO of the National Constitution Center. You can hear more on this topic, uh, as Jeff said, on the latest episode of the We the People podcast, hosted by Jeff and the Nos National Constitution Center, available available wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to follow on Twitter at Rosen Jeffrey and at Constitution CT.